how to use the smooth tool in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, here is my quick tip how to use the tool and also uh, my own way how I smooth out the elements of already created vector repeat pattern, which will be super helpful for textile designers. When you get to the end of this video, you will receive a free gift from me, so stay tuned. My name is Oksantia, I have been a textile designer for close to 15 years now, and I am a founder of Oksantia Textile Design Studio and Online School. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator. To get to the Smooth tool, let's go to the uh, tool panel right here on the right and click on the Pencil tool. And the smooth tool is this one with little stripes and it's right under the pencil tool. So when you click on it, it will highlight here smooth tool and it will give you a little circle, like a white circle uh, to uh, use the tool. Another way is, let's say you are drawing with a brush and then you, so you can select command A and then you can see those little anchor points and lines and paths here. And then you can click on Alt or Option, and then you'll be able to use the Smooth tool the same. So two ways to get to it. And what the Smooth tool does is smooth out the anchor points and the lines in a jagged line if you want them to be smoother after you drew them. Or after you uh, maybe created a drawing on paper and then scanned it and you want to smooth out some anchor points by hand, this is very, very handy tool for that. We will click on the smooth tool and we will just kind of draw little lines on top of this path. But it won't work when it's not selected, that's why I use command A to select the path and then I will just go over the, the, this little anchor points and smooth out the line like so. So just go over, just make little moves, that's how I do it. Just I use my mouse or I can use the uh, Wacom tablet I have for that. But you can see uh, the line is much smoother now and we have a much less anchor points, those little dots, uh, the blue little squares, I mean, on the line, they, there are much uh, less of them. Okay, so this is how our line looks now. Very cool, huh? So these are basic things. If you double click on the smooth tool, you can also adjust uh, more smooth uh, or more accurate, adjust the fidelity and reset, cancel and OK. So as another handy thing to know. All right, these are the basics and uh, I will show you how I, as a vector repeat pattern textile designer, use uh, this tool a lot in my repeat pattern. So the first thing is when I draw my elements, I use just um, how I showed you right now, which is very handy. The second way is, let's say I am I wanted to recolor an older pattern of mine. This is a cropped vector repeat pattern. You can see that I can select the elements in it, so it's a vector. But uh, I decided to create a new color version for this with a fabric that I will show you in a minute. However, I zoomed in and I did see that I it was one of my earliest repeat patterns that I created. So I did some, I saw some kind of uneven lines and maybe wanted to clean up some things even uh, more uh, to my liking, to my current kind of standard. So what I do, I select everything in this command A to select the pattern and um, it's grouped. So I could just click on it and select But common A will kind of give me some more line so I can see them better and you can click to uh, show kind of highlight the elements even more. Then I click on the smooth tool and then I start kind of smoothing out these elements. Why I like to do it this way is because I can just zoom in and then I scroll with my mouse to go down and then I can only kind of work with this element at the moment. But how do I smooth out this these elements on the bottom? To do that, I press Command A on my keyboard again. And now I start working with this element on the bottom, which is 
um, just going through it, which is kind of um, needs some cleaning up. And then I have some bumps on this leaf. Again, common day. And then I clean up these bumps. Command A, whenever I see some bumps that need smoothing out, I just go do Command A and I use the smooth tool, which is already selected. And one with the smooth tool, one element stays selected. Um, and so you kind of need the Command A to use that. But the good thing about it, you do not damage the crop of your pattern. So you can see this one is cropped but it will still be accurate and uh, cropped correctly. And let's say I found some more problematic kind of areas to smooth out, but still the crop, if you are careful, the crop will remain correct. So this is how I use the smooth tool in um, already cropped vector repeat patterns. And also I showed you the basics of it, but here is the final recolored pattern right here. And it's much, much more cleaned out and the, the shapes are much smoother since I used the smooth tool on it. And here's how the fabric turned out on my spoon flower shop and some, some more kind of mock-ups with this fabric. Well, it's a, an example for you what you can do with the smooth tool and how I use it the most in my repeat pattern design work. So today I shared with you how to use Adobe Illustrator's smooth tool and how to smooth out already created and trimmed vector repeat pattern. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps out my channel as well as subscribe to get notified for more videos about textile design as well as surprise live Q and A's. And I would love it if you shared it with your creative friends who you think might use this tip. And as promised, here is my gift to you, Pattern Biz Workshop. This is a free four video uh, workshop I created for you for all of those who are interested in becoming a textile designers or just creating uh, repeat patterns out of their uh, already existing art. This is a free workshop that you can subscribe to in the info card in the corner of this video or in the description under this video. And you will receive three worksheets just like this one to work on your own creative business. I'm excited to see what you think of it and please go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching Grow, Love and Create and I will see you in my next video. Bye!